Good morning guys on day 24. After much consideration and asking people around yesterday, we came to the conclusion that we have an infestation of turigrinos amongst us. There's a group of Spaniards, 10 of them, and they're using cars and buses and trains, and they only walk 10 kilometers a day or so. So I don't wanna get into the whole race to get a bed at the albergue. Today I'm doing 30 kilometers under the rain. I uh, left town at uh, 7.30 after searching for a cafeteria to have breakfast. Finally found one on the corner and I had myself a cafe con leche and a croissant. It looks like it's gonna rain, but the minute I put on the poncho, it stopped. So I'm taking advantage of this little break in the weather to record as much as I can. And I guess I'll see you guys a little farther down the line. If my calculations are correct and I don't do any doubles ahead of me, the countdown to Santiago has begun. T minus 10 days. Feels like I'm walking in the clouds. I mean, when you have the countryside blanketed like that with fog, it just gives you like an eerie feeling to it. But it's also great because there's no wind and uh, it's just mild temperature. It's just perfect weather for walking. I wish it would stay like this for the remaining of the day but that is way too much to ask. I feel like uh, I, a lot of pilgrims are passing me by right now, uh, and I feel like they're all going to Navia, which is a town halfway, but uh, if the condition stays like this, I am going all the way to uh, La Caridad, 30 kilometers from here. Right here talking to you guys, and I already see a little bit of a drizzle starting to come my way. taking advantage of a little break in the weather to let you guys know that it's raining, it's raining, then it's raining some more. Uh, we were on the road for the majority of the morning, but now we're out in the countryside and this is like mud city, man. I mean, it's expected, it's been raining for the last few days and it's just piling up on top of each other. <sighs> the wind is starting to pick up and I feel like the clouds are just following us because the wind is in, uh, it's coming from behind us. <sighs> what a day. Back on the road after walking through a very surreal landscape. I mean, I was literally inside a cloud for a while. Got to see a little bit of the wildlife and walking down some very steep, uh, wet uh, path. I don't know if it was a path or it was a river because the water was just gushing down. So the highway is very uh, welcome right now. Hopefully in El Bao, there's gonna be a bar so we can stop regroup, re-take off all these wet clothes and uh, get something to eat. Maybe a little snack and maybe call ahead and see if uh, we can make a reservation at the, at the albergue or let them know that there's a group of uh, Turigrino on their way. <laughs> By the way, my leg is doing amazing today. I think uh, a little bit of rest and uh, just, you know, giving it time. Uh, haven't had the need to take a pill yet, but uh, it's good news, good news. It, I was a little bit worried there for a second. Car. But things are looking 
bright and shiny, except for the weather. Nobody in El Bao, but made it to uh, Villa Pedre where there's one and I think the, the house is full of pilgrims. Gonna have a second breakfast. Time to get in there and escape from the element. I need some, uh, I need some orange juice, man. I need a second breakfast. And I think I found it. <laughs> Look who's in there. <laughs> James, let's go. <laughs> Hola. It was a class reunion at the cafe, over 10 pilgrims, and I decided to go for some orange juice and a Spanish omelet just to refill my tank. And uh, almost uh, like seven or eight kilometers to Navia, the halfway point of the day. Most people are gonna be staying there, but we're going another 15 kilometers to uh, La Caridad. Or at least that's a plan for right now. Who knows, things can change just like the weather. Back into the countryside, just left the pavement for the dirt path. And uh, here we go. Quick uh, pit stop in Navia for uh, to get something to eat. Went for a pincho and a beer and a coffee at a bar. Still got 10 kilometers to go. James and the two uh, Spanish old ladies stay here, but we're gonna keep going. We're going to La Caridad. Sun just came out, so it's uh, great news for, for me, I guess. Probably get there in three hours or so. It is one o'clock right now, so everything is going according to plan so far. I had to do laundry for sure. Didn't do it yesterday because obviously it was a rainy day. I am staying at a at a pension, no drying machines over there. But uh, I definitely have to do it today. If not, I'm gonna have to reuse some of my clothes. I haven't done that so far in this trip, and I don't want to. So we'll see. Gotta play it by ear as he comes, as always. Crossing over this uh, bridge and probably be out into the countryside once again.
that last stretch into La Caridad was uh, pretty, pretty horrible. I mean, it was mostly rural terrains and walking, crisscrossing the road back and forward until I had enough and I just decided to keep going straight on the road until I made it here. I think I got here, what was it, like around 3 p.m. And uh, first we went to uh, the municipal albergue and uh, did not like what I saw. Bunch of beds all crammed in together into a tiny room. There was nobody there. The hospitalero, I think, shows up like at 6. But there was a sign on the wall saying there was a private albergue 50 meters away for 11 euros and he had a washing machine and a dryer which, you know, I'm desperately trying to wash my clothes. They're all dirty. Gave it to the guy, settled in, took a shower. My boots were completely wet, so I put newspapers in them. And uh, right now I'm just waiting because since it's uh, Holy Friday, everything is closed except for this restaurant that opens at 7.30 and they have a pilgrim menu for nine euros. And uh, nothing left to do here but wait. As the afternoon uh, progressed, more and more pilgrims uh, showed up, people that I've never seen before, so I kind of feel like I'm back into another stage, maybe back to where I was supposed to be, since I've taken a couple of uh, short 15-kilometer days. And uh, that's about it for now. Just a waiting game. It is, uh, what is it, quarter to seven. Let's hover around the restaurant until it opens. Well, guys, day 24 is in the back now. I had dinner with uh, new friends, uh, Spaniards. Uh, we had a blast just talking about everything that happened today on the Camino. Uh, some of them started in uh, Gijón or earlier. Had the Peregrino uh, menu, which was a salad, followed by uh, some uh, pork with French fries and uh, flan for dessert, red wine. We had some of that yellow shots at the end. I mean, it was just a great night overall. Nine days to Santiago starting tomorrow. Feels like the, the finish line. And also tomorrow we get to uh, Galicia. Yes. We're done with Asturias. I mean, it's just going by so fast that it is crazy. But it happens, you know? That's what happens if you keep walking, if you keep putting one foot in front of the other, eventually you'll get there. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.